what's up guys uh, welcome back this is your boy again how are you guys doing welcome to another video uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are very much doing okay well finally 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 after so much mo weeks yes weeks is not out of month yet weeks of constantly bashing this woman constantly demanding from this woman that is my bad wife of a dna test she has finally agreed to actually go on with a dna test after so many lies after so many lies from uh, people close to her saying dna test has been carried out guess what all lies they have not done any dna test they have not carried out any dna test is now that she finally agreed to do a DNA test. But the question was, why, who lied about the first DNA test? Because there is this uh, popular uh, comment that OJB was the first person to announce that the DNA test is done. So they need to ask this guy, were you trying to just chase popularity, make money from Twitter using Mubas name as a form of mockery? Or someone from Obat's wife family told you that they have already done the DNA test. You, without confirmation, without waiting to see DNA papers, the real official paper, you just went on to announce that they have carried out the DNA test. Were you just looking for the money? Were you just all about the money? Why? Well, they have finally agreed to do a DNA test, which is nice. And because of uh, the public scrutiny, because of uh, the public opinion, because of what the public might think, that is why it is necessary for them to do any uh, DNA test and also show it to the public. In fact, the father should be the one, Mobad father, since he's the one making most of all those allegations, should be the one to announce that, yes, this child is truly Mobad's child. But if he is discovered that that boy is not Mobad's boy, which I'm not praying for, because it would be so, so painful to me that Mobad do not have a representative on heart. It would be so, 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 so painful to me which I'm not hoping for, then all the donations to that boy will be withdrawn. All the donations, all the money will be withdrawn from that boy. And after all, they did a traditional marriage, not the real marriage according to the law. So, and the woman will lose, will lose everything. Well, I'm not praying for that uh, matter though. According to Iyabo Ojo, Yabo Ojo chop a lot of uh, insult from a very dark man. <laughs> Yabo chop enough insult from a very dark man. Well, Yabo Ojo said, uh, to everyone who want to hear from Mubar's wife, this is her response. She said, Mubar's wife said, hello man, I've decided not to speak on anything until 7th of November, which is the Corona Equest because i do not want any side distractions all i want is justice for my husband which i believe the nigeria government are working on after everything i will either grant an interview or tell my own story before the whole world and also dna test is definitely a must And uh, according to what uh, he also, uh, she also wrote, uh, Yabo Ojo, she, she said, Ikeja General Hospital, please, we hope that by the 7th of November 2023, the next date of the corona inquest, the full autopsy report will be out. We are not giving up on this justice for Mubad, no matter the dragging, noise makers, or distractions. Yes, yeah, so we are not giving up. I wish them all the best. But why did they lie before that they carried out the DNA test? You know, when you start making complicit stuff, you expect people, 
not to act exactly as human beings. You lied, someone lied in your camp about DNA test. Then you want human beings, the, the general public, the general public to just accept that someone lied. So they shouldn't think sideways and backward and around the situation. They have every right to think like that. And Mubad's case, eh, eh, na national cake, is not a private case. People shouldn't say it's private. If you are saying it's private, it makes me angry. It's not a private case. If Mubad's spirit wants his matter to be private, therefore don't bury Mubad. Nobody will hear about Mubad. Mubad case is a national case, not private. But yet, uh, let's move past that. Let's talk about. Pastor, or should I say, Prophet Jeremiah? Prophet Jeremiah Fung Fingi. Well, this is the dopest prophet in town currently, in Nigeria currently. This prophet single handedly celebrated his wife's birthday in his church. Members, notable members, came out to spray this pastor's wife. Millions, money amounting to millions, you know, decorated the whole uh, stadium. I don't know if, if I should call it stadium or spiritual stadium. Decorated the whole stadium with money. So we kneel down, spraying him and his wife money. So we stand calabashing prayers. So we come there, do all sorts of stuff, spray money. But if you don't have money to spray, you will come to that stage. Don't come to that front. You know, uh, they are for notable people. But as a floor member, you can send your prayers for where you are seated. Send your prayers, and then God will answer your prayers from afar. But if you are a notable person, you come on stage and spray the money. You know, notable people usually sit front in front. Mm -hmm. So this man single handedly celebrated his wife Betty in his church, honored his wife. And guess what? The thing he did next. He gave his wife a key. He told his wife, go to my office and open a safe. Whatever you found there is yours. Let her go to my office. With the, this key, let her go to my office. My office back of this place. Hey, my office back of this place. Let her go to the office. And open, there is a place that this key can open. Let her go and use this key, open that thing. Mm. Once she opened that thing, anything she see there <laughs> is for her. Move to that place. All right. That is the key. Uh huh. Let's see her. Uh, open it, whatever. Whatever thing you see there. Well, may, may God have mercy on us. Who am I to judge? If I'm in that position, I'm going to, if I'm in that position, I'm going to give my wife heaven and art. Heaven and art, if possible. And we have seen kings, past kings, doing so much for their wives. So, who am I to tell a man not to honor his wife? That aside, well, nowadays, uh, we do not know what is right and we do not know what is wrong. Because of the world now, eh, everybody needs help from someone. Someone is extremely careful about his tongue. Hmm? Extremely careful not to speak freely. But thank God, um, 
I'm a Muslim, yeah, um, um, because uh, our teaching doesn't really care about uh, about money or the other stuff. The God I know, eh? the God I know, uh, the God I know, mm? the God I know. Mm? It's a God that doesn't like bragging. It's a God that have taught us not to brag. To be pious, to think about your neighbor, hmm? to think about the mental state of your neighbor, not to brag too much so that your neighbor will not feel offended by it. Hmm? The pastor is a very nice pastor. I'm not going to lie. The pastor have done so much uh, for the for masses more than what I think I can ever do. Like honestly, he dash a lot of money. Give a lot of houses, give a lot of cars, do a lot of stuff. And how do we know about this? Because he usually publish most of them on on social media, telling people, telling the world what he's doing or what he's about to do. You know what? Eh? May God just lead us to the right path. May God give us the wisdom and knowledge in order for us to understand him more and to worship people more. And uh, you know what? I hope we all make it. Let us let me just forget about everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a